Who's that turkey? Ooh. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Who's That Turkey. This is the game show where we try to guess the turkey based on questions. I'm Amanda Bonanza. This is Lilith Zarling. Shit. Is it Lilith Electra? It's fine. It says it on my Which thing here. Which do you want? Because it says Zarling on the TV. It says Lilith Zarling because I also use this Zoom for work. <laughs> But uh, you know, people people uh, like when I'm per- when I'm performing, I go as Lilith Electra. But in my everyday life, it's not Lilith Electra. If it wasn't such a pain, in which the ass. It, would you consider this a performance or your everyday life? I mean, you know what? With me, here's the thing: that line gets erased it's pretty every fucking blurry, day, doesn't man. It? I'm I've like gone on stage and like I've da- I've transitioned on stage. I injected myself with estrogen in the middle of a show. I've uh, gone from who I was to I am slowly on stage. So yeah, there's you know it's all yeah, just me. Well, it's all it's just wild. Me. It's a, what a long strange trip it's been. Someone I'm a wild. That. I'm a wild girl. Mr. What Morrison. can I say? <laughs> Mr. Morrison said a Dylan. lot of things. Was Bob Dylan. As a Bob Dylan original. <laughs> Whatever. Okay, here's how who's that turkey works. This is yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm a man of bonanza, and that is Lilith Electra. And we are gonna play who's that turkey. And I am going to ask. I mean, they're they're gonna have a person, right? And that's the turkey. This is yeah. the worst explanation. It is. I can. Lilith got could, guess the turkey. I could, I, could, I could give you like an explanation. So basically, yeah, let's, yeah, um, let's hear your explanation. Amanda, Amanda has found three turkeys. And for each turkey, there are three clues that she will give me to guess. If I guess on the first clue, I earn five turkey points. If I get oh, on the second I it was one, three, but oh, I think oh, it's three yeah. turkey points. Oh, three, and then two. If we I can get do on the like one. six, six, three, six, six, four, two. I mean, I'm no, going to guess that no, at the end of the no, day, three, two, the, one, three, two, one. The points don't matter, but yeah, three, two, one. If I get on the first one, it's three. If I get on the second one, it's two. If I get on the last one, it's one. Uh, and I, you know, usually here's here's how I usually feel it goes. There's three turkeys. One of them I will not get. One of them I'll get on the second or third clue, and one I will get on the first clue. That's like that's how I feel like this goes that every time. Is kind of how and, it's gone so far. And as this goes on, um, if if you want, you know, you can always email us in. Um, and is that being trans podcast still? I don't think so. I think it's Cute Girls Incorporated now. But what's our email? Do you have an email for Cute that? Cute Girls Incorporated at gmail dot com. All right, well there you go. Up. I'm pretty sure oh, that's man. it. This, this is quite an intro here. Well, I mean, I'm definitely cutting some of this out. I'm ready. You ready? Are, are, you, are we ready? Are we? Oh, did you? I know you said to email in. Yeah, we should do that again because we fucked up that email address so bad. You just want to start fresh with the with the intro and take it from top to bottom. I, no, I do like the bullshit. No, why don't like, you just I tell like me the bullshit we've concocted? I've been told okay, so uh, Amanda's got the email for us. If you want to be on Who's That Turkey and you want to challenge Lilith, if you think you can get the turkeys better than Lilith, you need to get in touch with us. You can email us at cutegirlsincorporated dot no, that's wrong. At cutegirlsincorporated at gmail.com. Or you could just leave a comment. Leave a comment in the YouTube. That, that's the best way. Just leave a comment. Yeah. Leave a comment. Be like, I want to yeah. do it. And like, we'll grab you. We'll be like, okay. If we'll you have you my phone here. number, if you have my phone number, text me and say, hey, I yeah, just if watched. You know Lilith's phone yeah. number. You text her. We're not, it, I'm not going to put it right down here. No, 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 no. You already have to have it for that to happen. No, I don't need, I don't need any, uh, you know, weirdo neo-Nazis. No, you don't need to get docs. I'm not trying to dox love. Plus, it wouldn't be fair because all those neo-Nazis know all the turkeys personally. So, of course, yeah, they'd win. Uh, yeah. yeah. Well, but, hey, that's me. Ah, that's me. It's like, it is you. It is. You're, you're a turkey. The turkey. Not you, but this guy this is. Guy, this all right, guy. our first turkey. All right. Let me, our uh, first hold turkey. On. Hold okay. On. Let me, uh, all right. I'm Are ready. you ready? Yeah, I'm ready. Stretch. Don't want to pull any muscles guessing these turkeys. All right, I'm ready. Our first turkey has this to say about fascism. I have never written that there is a threat of fascism in America. I always considered the idea overwrought. But now I believe there really is such a threat. And it will come draped not in an American flag, but in the name of tolerance and health. Oof. I mean, if there's two things, what, what a, a fucking, fucking jackass. Dip. Good God. 
There's nothing more un American than health. Let me tell you that right now. No, nothing more fascist than health. It's so un American. Health? Intolerance. Hell no. Hell no. Health? That's why it's called the Museum of Tolerance. <laughs> <laughs> so, so, my thinking is I don't think this is a politician. I think it's like it's okay. like a it's like a thinker or like some sort of professional pundit or something. Um, is this Tucker Carlson? It is not Tucker Carlson, Damn. but that is a good good yeah. guess. Yeah. Uh, you are not far, okay, from yeah. like Tucker Carlson's in the neighborhood. So, like, <laughs> okay. I'll give you that. So, oh, what a right. scary neighborhood! <laughs> Clearly, it's not a good neighborhood. <laughs> It's, it's affluent, though. <laughs> it's very affluent. <laughs> but your neighbors are horrible. <laughs> There's an HOA. They don't let you do nothing. Second clue. On the pandemic, quote, the unvaccinated are the biggest pariah group I have ever seen in my lifetime. Can you imagine if, during the AIDS crisis, gay men were pariahs the way the non-vaccinated are today? It would have been inconceivable. Oh. <sighs> If he wasn't dead, this would definitely be Rush Limbaugh. But that's not Crazy my guess. Is that's not my guess. I said, what do you mean? If, that's not your guess. That was clearly your guess. No, I said, if he wasn't dead. I did, the turkeys don't have to be alive. Well, the, Rush Limbaugh was dead before the pandemic. Was he? Yeah. I feel like he's right around that. But okay. Fair enough. Yeah. So if you like, like, it's not bombastic enough. Okay, you didn't guess Rush. No, You're getting a no, free no. Act, or We're taking back the X. No, but I think you'd agree with me. If Rush Limbaugh was still alive, this is the garbage that we're spewing from his mouth. Oh, no, this yeah, is... Yeah, yeah. You're, you're, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Rush Limbaugh's... Like I right. said, it's an excellent guess. So it's not it's not bombastic enough for, like, Alex Jones. Um, but it definitely is in that, in that thing. Um... I also I also need a list of people who already guessed because I th I like it. this is giving, this is also giving me Jordan Peterson vibes, but I think we've done Jordan Peterson already. Uh, I don't, I think, don't we think we have. All right, maybe we have. We may have. All right, um, I don't know. I don't remember. Let me see. Is it is it Sean Hannity? No, oh, it is not Sean Hannity. But that is also a good guess. Yeah. You're, the, uh, once again, you're not far. All right. Yeah. Clue number three. This might do it for you. In 2009, he co-founded a namesake 501c3 nonprofit advocacy group and media organization with radio producer and screenwriter Alan Estrin to advocate for conservative views and to offset what he himself regards as, quote, the undermining of college education by the left. From 2016 to 2018, the nonprofit's revenue tripled from five point four two million to eighteen point six million dollars. Oh, that's a you know what? This is this got me a curveball here. I don't. Yeah, this just this sounds like Jordan Peterson. <laughs> it's not Jordan this is Peterson. Not, I'm yeah. afraid not. No turkey points today. This is in fact Dennis Prager. Oh, that ass. The organization he founded oh, is Prager, Prager U. U. Uh, Which is now, uh, I don't know if it is officially, but it is trying to be worked into considered an official college of uh, official school of higher learning well, in the state of Florida. It's not a school of higher learning, but they 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 produce materials for for the for public schools now in Florida. Oh yeah, it's yeah. so awful. That's awful. <laughs> it's so not okay. <laughs> That's oh. our first turkey, Dennis Prager. Real yeah. fucking turkey. What a Real fucking, fucking turkey. Asshole. But it's like that's how you make money. Eighteen point six million dollars for his yeah. non profit. His non profit. You know? Well, the, no, see, the company doesn't make profit, but we have to pay the people who run the company. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Quite a lot, in fact. Yeah. I mean, you know, <laughs> he's providing exactly. he's providing all the true white history for Florida now. So oh, God. I know. Okay. They're right. moving on. We've got okay. another turkey here. Right. No turkey points today so far. Okay. So far, no turkey. Turkey number two. Yeah. Clue number one. In their book, America by Heart, Reflections on Family, Faith, and Flag, <sighs> this turkey falsely claimed that, quote, Susan B. Anthony saw the fight for the rights of the unborn as part of the broader fight for women's rights, 
end quote. There is no historical record of Susan B. Anthony ever taking any stance against abortion. Yeah, that's a, that title, that title's a Huckabee title if I've ever heard one. That's, uh... Are you gonna guess? There, there's more than one Huckabee. Uh, the, the old man Huckabee. I forget Are you guessing name. Mike Huckabee? Is that Mike your guess? Huckabee, yeah. I'm afraid that is not correct. But that is a Mike. I mean, he also wrote a but book called But in a Guns way, Guns. you are extremely close. So you are extremely close um, with that. You're like, once again, you're, 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 like, you're, like, you're like brushing up against them on the subway. Clue number two. In a response to the 2011 State of the Union address, this turkey falsely claimed that the Sputnik project, quote, incurred so much debt at the time that it resulted in the inevitable collapse of the Soviet Union. See, 2011, I don't, I don't remember Sarah, Sarah Huckabee Sanders being, uh, being big yet, but she didn't become, she didn't become like a figure until Trump took over. So I don't know if, I don't know if Mike Huckabee was that close, uh, but I'm trying to think who was big in 2011. They did give it the state of the union rebuttal. Is that what you said it was? In a response to the 2011 state of the union okay. address, this Turkey falsely claimed that the Sputnik project incurred so much debt at the time that it resulted in the inevitable collapse of the Soviet union. Which is absolutely not true. <laughs> absolutely. By the way, not yeah. even. No, close. I totally understand. Yeah, um, man, who was the clown car from like 2012? Was that Paul Ryan? Mm. Ooh, what a great guess! Also very close, but incorrect. Damn. I know you're going to get it with this one. Our third All right. clue All right. on ABC News in 2008. They claimed to be a foreign policy expert because Russia was, quote, our next door neighbors. And you can actually see Russia from the wait, land here in Alaska. Wait, so here's the thing. After well, that second. Why <laughs> that made them an expert, they responded with, because our next door neighbors are foreign countries. Sarah Palin, right? Ooh. That is, in fact, Sarah Palin. So, yes. Here's the thing. If you want to know how bad Republican politics are, after the second one, I thought Sarah Palin, but I was like, she ran for VP in 2008. So there's no way she's doing like state of the union responses in 2011. Like she was already, she should already be, you know, kicked out of the party, but here she is still flopping around like a dead fish. Oh my God. She's still there. She's still there. She's still got opinions. <laughs> God damn it. All right. But you did get it. You got yeah. one turkey point. I knew you would get it. I knew you would get it. I think you're going to get this one too. And okay. I don't think it's going to take all three. Okay. All right. Our next turkey, our last final turkey, third turkey of the day. All right. Clue number one on a November 16th, 2011 campaign stop in Nashua, New Hampshire during their 2012 bid for the presidency, they responded to claims that they were inept and ignorant with regard to foreign policy with the catchphrase, quote, we need a leader, not a reader. <laughs> stop. Stop. All the signs for this day and age were there in 2011, weren't they? Um, oh, yeah. They've been there for a while. They, they've been there for a while. but um, I've been calling these shots since the 90s. So that was that was the Romney campaign, but Romney's too smart to say something like that. Um, Paul Ryan was, it was his, but also Ryan was a faux intellectual who would never say anything so dumb. Um <sighs> So many bad presidential candidates from that time. Who was running? Wait, Trump was running. Was that Trump? I'm afraid not. That was a good guess, though. But once again, <laughs> you're close. No, not Donald Trump. Okay. Uh, I, and I presume you meant Donald Trump and not any of the, <laughs> not Baron Trump or Ivanka. <laughs> it's not Baron, no. It's, yeah. Not they're, Baron Trump. They're all, they're all Trumps, but only one of them is Trump. Yeah, fair enough. Clue number two. All right. In an interview with GQ magazine three days earlier, on November 13th, 2011, they claimed, quote, the more toppings a man has on his pizza, I believe the more manly he is. Because the more manly man is not afraid of abundance. A manly man don't want it piled high with vegetables. He would call that a sissy pizza. God <laughs> damn. 
Uh, yeah, that one also sounds like uh, Mike Huckabee, uh, but that's not my guess. I don't. That's yeah, your guess. That's not my guess. Uh, you know, who are the? Does sound like him. Does Mike Huckabee? Does sound like him? Uh, oh no, Chris Christie's another one who's too smart to say to say stuff about not wanting to read. It's not our old friend Ted Cruz, is it? Oh, what a great guess. I thought you were going to guess that on the first time. That is not Ted Cruz, uh, not afraid. But like, oh, uh, uh, I thought you were going to guess. I thought you were going to guess Ted Cruz out of the case. <laughs> but okay, we're on, we're on clue number three. Oh, I know man. You, I believe in you. All I right. believe that you can get this. All, All right. right. On July 30th, 2020, they died of complications from COVID-19. They contracted the disease 31 days earlier at a June 29th Trump rally where they refused to wear a mask. Well, shucky ducky, you know, that pizza in the last quote should have been, that's, that's good old Herman Cain. Da, 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 that is our good friend, <laughs> Herman Cain. Herman Cain, who ran, Cain train. who ran a pizza joint that none of us have ever been to and somehow thought he could also be president. <laughs> Don't step on his blue suede shoes. I love the idea that you wouldn't you wouldn't put together a pizza to be the most delicious for all the flavors to work together. It's just like just pile it high with as much non vegetables as you can. He's like, yeah. yeah. It's like he runs a pizza chain. It's like people that buy my pizza with vegetables on it are uh -uh. silly. Tomato sauce. We use cajal for pork women. Blood. Yeah, Ugh. the vegetables are for women. Cheese. Many we use beef. we use tripe. Oh, dairy. Yes, that was indeed Herman Cain, and this has been Who's That Turkey? Remember, if you'd like to play Who's That Turkey with Lilith and Amanda, you can just leave us a comment down on the YouTube section below. Please comment, like, subscribe, tell your neighbors, tell your friends, tell your neighbors. That's what. Go door to door, please, and go out and be like, "Hey, have you this great new show called Who's That Turkey?" You should do that. <laughs> Be like a Jehovah's Witness. Thank you for joining us, y'all. Good night. Bye-bye.